Right guys, here we have everything that we looked at yesterday and today, bucket of water, we have a hose and we have one very, very dirty bike. So, quick look at the dirty bike. As it says, as you can see there, she is pretty filthy. Um, and what am I doing today? Well, I want to winter ready her. That was the idea. <coughs> and uh, as you can see, she's a uh, paintwork someone, you know, it's just plastics, it's dirty. But we are looking at the front sanctions here. And I want to make her nice and clean, basically. Clean up all the crap and get her ready for the winter. Right, guys, as promised, I'm at Messy FJR. Today, we're going to be following the steps as we spoke about yesterday. Remember this? So, we're using this one motorcycle degreaser. We're going to degrease all of the metal parts and engine. It's the first step. Everything else ready. So, let's get on with it. Spray it says. Every metal part. Engine. Exhausts. Remember, this hasn't got a chain. Sharp drive. So, we won't do that, will we? Exhaust, bare metal pots. Then we're going to let that settle. And then we're going to go on step two. Aggravate with brush. So, all metal pots. So, we've sprayed the engine and the frame and the exhausts. And then it says aggravate with brush. So. So far, so good, eh? <laughs> um, it's so different, I must admit, because I went to fill the bucket up with water earlier, and the first thing I did was put the old washed up over there, ready to do that. And I thought, hey, stop. Right, aggravated it a little bit, and it says water. So let's get on with it, shall we? so far. Next step. <clears throat> Spray this everywhere. Make sure it's sunlight. Then use a brush. Don't use a brush on the plastics. Use your little sponge. There. Yeah. I have uh, started to do this one already. It seems rather funny, doesn't it? It's a tiny little sponge. It's supposed to expand. So while we're waiting for this to expand, <laughs> I don't have my cock on it. We'll let that expand and I'll spray the stuff over and see how we go. Here you go guys, spray everywhere it says. Oh. I suppose this would be what we'd normally do guys when we'd get the old washed up that we did in there as well. But we'll see how it goes, shall we? I would say that it was well covered, wouldn't you? So, I'm going to put this in the water, let it expand for a minute, let it settle, use the brush on the bad bits, and then see what happens next. Well, the sponge has come to life. <coughs> I mean, in theory, I guess you're putting on the washed up weed before you walk it, I guess. It does foam up quite well, guys. So, let's get on with this and then see the next step, shall we? Showering it off. Sponge is better. Nice big again. Is it particularly faster? No, 
time, it's no faster. It's a bit like, as I said, putting the washing up fluid on the bike before and then adding water to it. But I've gone round it, it was particularly dirty. We are winter time here, it's December. And there was a lot of road salt underneath the bike. So this did get very dirty. I uh, used to spray a bit more. I've used, well, let's have a look, shall we? Ooh. used that much so far. But a bit more than expected, I guess. Or I don't know what I, I don't know what I expected. Anyway, next I'm going to rinse off the bike and then we're going to use the brake disc cleaner on it. So let's get on with rinsing the bike over. So now we're going to the disc brake cleaner. So just spray some discs. It says wipe in the way, but the bike is still soaking wet. Smells strong. And then next it says motorbike protect. So we're going to spray that on the bike next to the engine places. So, here we go. We've moved off of the washing, now we're on to protecting your bike. This I should spray, protect your engine metal parts. So, let's spray that off, shall we? All says to put on this onto your chain to drive out any moisture, but I haven't got a chain with that, it's a sharp one. So, on to part two, step two. Near the end of the cleaning part now, guys, silicon shine. Remember on the other stuff, though, not to put on your brake pads, it says. Makes sense, doesn't it? This goes on your suspension. Let's give this a spray. A little bit hard not getting on the discs, though, isn't it? Discs are here. Right. And this is feature. Also on it, matte black parts as well. Not fairing parts really. I haven't got many matte black parts except here. Just put it on there. Got my seat, I guess. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Let's see what's next. Right, guys, we're near the end of this now. Now it says use a towel to clean it. You can use a speed polish, but I also got miracle shine. So I might go for the extra one I paid for. <laughs> and then give it a good old wiper over. It says now. Spray these on and then wipe it off afterwards. And we should see a really clean bike. Second of December, the sun's there. I was picking up the freeze this morning, so at least the sun's coming in. It does say don't do it in direct sunlight, but three degrees of the sun out is not going to hurt it, is it? Anyway, let's keep going, guys. Well, there we have it, guys. One, well, it does look clean in the sun, doesn't she? Is this a cure for hard work? No, you've still got to polish and clean and take your time like you normally would. So it's no faster. If you're going to buy this, you think it's going to be faster. It's not. On a lovely day like today, even though it's cold, my bike looks clean, I have to say. I had to buy, well not buy, another cloth, okay, because the one doesn't do it. So what do we use today? We use the cleaner, the protector, the disc brake cleaner, there's the greaser, the silicon, speed shine, and next I'm going to use this on just my little pedals and grips and stuff like that, you know, all the little metal bits um, to protect it because I am winter riding. I didn't use obviously the chain or the suit one. Sponge done well, that I've got to wash, I guess. Obviously, it doesn't come with a bucket, so you always got to buy a bucket. But I followed it today as it asked, it all told me, and I have to say, so far, yeah, it's come up clean. Can't knock it. <clears throat> Next one I'm going to do is the beaking, and that's what I really bought this for. I wanted to see how it details. There we have it, guys. It's clean. You need another one of these. One cloth doesn't do. It gets very wet from the earlier cleans. Guys, like, subscribe. Check out the videos around the outside. I'm doing the beaking next. As I said I want to detail that more. Is it a new way to make a cup of tea? You know, will it go back to just using an old sponge and what's not weird? I don't know. Let's see how this goes. It's going to be filthy tomorrow. The roads have got salt on them. But she does look nice at the present minute, guys. Take care of yourselves on the road. And let's see what the uh, beaking looks like next.